Hey friends, welcome back to our channel or welcome if you are new. If you're new, this is Garrett. This little girl is Athena. And I am Emma. And today, I'm actually gonna put him back. I wanted to introduce you to the rest of the animals in the house. I also have a son who still lives at home. And I am also an animal. And he is getting the animals all wound up and making this video longer than it needs to be. So <laughs> let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so we actually have two dogs, two cats, and a small fish tank. The fish tank itself isn't small, but I don't have a whole lot of fish in there. Never mind that mess back there. It is from school, and I need to get it cleaned up. But I did want to take this second to introduce you to the other animals and tell you a little bit about them. So this is Chloe. And she is a Havocle, so she is a mix between an Alaskan Klee and a Havanese. I don't know, she needs to get her hair cut, but I haven't gotten her in for a little while. But yeah, that's her. She is three years old, I believe now. And she is a little bit of an anxious nut around new people, but she is really sweet. And she's a daddy's boy. She loves my husband and she loves Matthew so so much she could live without me even though i'm the one that feeds her no. this one over here is b and she's actually a grand dog Haley decided to purchase this one with a little bit of help from matt here and then when she moved out she moved into an apartment building that that's up on a second story. So B ended up staying here on top of the fact that she really has bonded with Chloe. So when you separate the two, they don't do well apart. So I don't know off the top of my head what mixes were in B's DNA test. I can go over that um, some other video if you are interested. But this is this sweet little girl and I believe she is about two years old now and she still, she still nibbles a lot um, as a, a form of affection more than anything. She also paws at you. She learned that from Chloe, but B definitely does it a lot more. And she does it without you actually saying shake. She doesn't know it as a command, but just whenever she wants something, she will paw at you. Right, girls? Right, girls? B. Right? B. Right, B? Right, B? Bibi, Chloe, <gasps> Chloe Ann, <gasps> Chloe Ann. Hi, pretty girls. Hi. Hello. You get an epic shot of, of Garrett over here. Matt wants you to look this at is an epic shot. Garrett. Hi, baby. <laughs> and Athena's still sleeping, just like she was whenever I filmed her intro. <laughs> She must be really tired. She was not so thrilled that I tried to give her some water play this morning. And so she was kind of dipping her paws in there. So I kind of dipped her little tail end in and she didn't like it at all. <laughs> so she ran around like crazy trying to dry herself and she has been napping pretty good ever since. But Garrett was awake because I had him out right before I started to film this and he really wants to get back out. We need to go find some cats. We also have two cats, and this is Luna. She is an extremely chunky kitten. Um, she didn't used to be when she was younger before we got her spayed. She was actually very, very underweight and skinny to the point that like she had a hard time with recovery um, right after the surgery, but once she got spayed, she got super, super chunky. My cats also do get to free feed, which probably doesn't help the issue, but I have another cat that doesn't want to eat um, hard food all the time, which is why they also have soft food. Soft food is actually for my senior cat. Luna is probably three, almost four years old. I have another one, but she is not. Kitty, 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 kitty. But she is not coming out for any treats. 
so I need to see if I can get her. Hang on. Drop it. than the others. And then this is our other cat. This is our senior cat. Her name is Patches. She is obviously a calico and she is seven or eight years old now. She is very much a scaredy cat. Um, she has reason to be given her history but do you want a treat? So my battery died while I was showing you the cats, but Patch didn't really want to sit around anyway. Oh. What? What's your deal? What's your deal? I know, what do you want? You want a treat? You want a treat? Hmm? Is that what you want? You guys want a treat? Baby. Good girl. Good girl. Anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, Patch is just not a very social cat. She is whenever she's hungry, but other than that, she is not really gonna come out and spend much time out here. So I thought I would show you my fish tank. It's still a little bit cloudy because I did change out some water and vacuumed some of the rocks, but I thought I would show you anyway. We have one Glow Tetra. We have one Humongous Plecto. We have a Fiddler Crab, which I'm working on getting him in a different situation. Pet stores do not always tell you the most correct information about how to keep your pets. So they told us that he would be good in an aquarium all the time but actually he needs to be on land too so I've got to figure something out to get him on sand and part aquatic and part um, dry land instead of in a fish tank but I am working on it he is our first pleco he actually disappeared and I, I thought that he died maybe the sharks had eaten him that we had before and then all of a sudden he reappeared. We had a different tank and the background was black so you really couldn't see. And he came out as this monster that is like bigger than my hand. That's just the pretty little glow tetra that we have left. We had several and over time they've just kind of died obviously. Are you, are you wanting some attention? You've already eaten today. We have another pleco over here. He's quite a bit smaller. He will be the last Pleco that we put in the tank because Plecos can be aggressive, I believe, with each other. But I know after I did some research after we put them in here that they can both be aggressive. These two are not aggressive with, with each other. I don't know why this one is bugging me. He got fed right before I did his water change just a couple of hours ago. All right, so that is going to be it for today's video. Not a whole lot of carpet shark content. I will let them say goodbye as well. But I did want to give you a background on the little zoo that I have in my house. So if you have any video suggestions regarding the cats, the dogs, maybe the fish. Fish tube is horrible, as in they are like cutthroat there. There's no room for air and they can be very rude about it sometimes and that scares me, um, especially since I do have trouble with the tanks. Everything I research tells me one thing and then the next thing tells me something else and it's just sends me in circles. So I may do a couple of fish videos but I'm not going to do a lot of fish videos but dogs, cats, obviously my favorite the carpet sharks. Um, you can just leave comments down below if you have video suggestions or a topic that you want me to talk about 
or something you want me to show you. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Make sure you check out my Instagram for the in-between because I'm only publishing here on Mondays and Fridays and I post almost daily over on Carpet Shark Co. on Instagram. So check that out. I'm going to let them say goodbye and then I'm gonna clean up this mess because it's driving me nuts. Your sister wake up. Hi. You may say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. You were getting ready to take a nap, so I'm not going to get you all wound up because you need a nap. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, pretty girl. Hmm? Say bye-bye, pretty girls. Bye-bye, you guys. See? Bye-bye, you guys. We'll see you next time. What's that, Chloe? Are those your friend ferrets? Are those your little ferret friends?